In this video, I will show you how to clean CapCut to save disk space on Windows. CapCut is a popular video editing app that allows users to create and edit videos on their Windows devices. However, like any other app, it can sometimes accumulate unnecessary files and data on your device, taking up valuable disk space. Cleaning CapCut can help free up space on your Windows device. First, I'm going to open CapCut. Here, you can see a bunch of projects that I've almost completed and I'll delete these to free up some disk space. If any are important projects you have, you can keep them. It looks like my drive is almost full. I don't understand why CapCut is taking up so much disk space. To delete them completely, click the trash button and delete them all. If CapCut is open, close it. Now, let's search for CapCut in the search menu. Next, right-click on CapCut and click Open File Location. Right-click on CapCut again and click Open File Location. Here, we can see that there are folders for the older versions of CapCut. What we need to do is keep the latest version and delete all previous versions. It looks like there's a lot of space we can free up. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Next, open the Microsoft Store. Type the following name in the search box and install it. Once it's installed, close the Microsoft Store. Click on the CapCut name in the address bar at the top. Now, right-click in the empty space and select Show More Options. Then, click Scan with Tree Size. When the Tree Size app opens, identify the folders inside that are taking up the most space. We can see that this folder is using a lot of space. Let's check out what's in it. Looks like there are some video files from SmartCrop that were automatically created from my previous projects. If you have something of these and if it's necessary for you, you can back them up to another drive. I don't need them, so I'm deleting all of them. Now, we can see that our drive has a lot more free space. This way, you can identify and clean up any unnecessary files to free up disk space. And don't forget to empty the recycle bin at the end. Remember, deleting these files won't affect your other projects in CapCut. Just make sure not to delete any system files as that could stop CapCut from opening or mess up your system. So, delete unnecessary files at your own risk. 
By following these steps, you should be able to clean up CapCut and free up some disk space on your Windows device. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more great content. For more help, come join our group. Any more questions? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.